77 WABC. And good morning to you on this Martin Luther King Day. Bernie and Sid have the day off. So this is Larry Menti on the great 77 WABC coming to you live from the NJ Diet Studio high atop Madison Square Garden. Billy from Queens, you're on 77 WABC. Hey, Larry, you know what makes a great radio show? When the listener walks away, you know, more educated, more informed, or maybe even changes his opinion to what he already thought by listening to the uh, person hosting the show. And you nail it every time. Oh, uh, well, Billy, so, thanks. No, wait a minute. This is your radio slot from now on. This is ridiculous. Sandy from Westchester, you're on 77 WABC. Hey, Larry, you're one of my favorite people. I listen to you Saturday night and meet TV on Sunday morning. Oh, uh, thank you, Sandy. Oh, yes. Uh, I hope they give you a spot during the day in the morning. You are one of the best. You have one of the best shows going, so. Uh, well, that's, that's really nice of you, Bruce. Thanks for saying well, that. Well, that's, that's the way I feel. And I will be with you for a long time. Well, thanks uh, a lot, Paul. And if this goes well, you'll hear more. Well, I, I respect you, and I think you're an extremely intelligent an informed individual. Well, hello, and I want to say you have given the most brilliant and wonderful show of the month on talk radio. Oh, wow. You really are so didactic and genius. Hey, man, I really love your show. I mean, you're brilliant. I mean, you. I'm sure that the president listens to you late at night because he's a late-night guy. I want to thank two men that have made my season really come true, and that's Donald J. Trump and Larry Mente, because you guys are, are miracles for this country, and I wish you the best of luck for, for all you guys do. Hey, Larry, I don't get to listen to you much. I'm usually not home at this time, but you say the most brilliant things. I actually, all I do is read books and biographies, and I write down quotes, and when I listen to you, I run to get my notebook. When you said that a lot of people use racism as a shield against criticism, it's just brilliant. I just want to say real quick, the fact that a guy like you is on once a week in the middle of the night on a Saturday night, it's just mind-boggling to me. It's like Frank Sinatra being the warm-up act for the monkeys. Okay, I hope you, uh, you stay with us for a long, long time.